guys, I'm Gina and I make videos on organization and intentional living. And today I'm going to be talking about three ways that you can, three frugal ways, excuse me, three frugal ways that you can have fun. Like we're saving off, like we're saving our money, we're paying off debt, we're doing all of these things, but life is still meant to be lived. And while we don't have a whole lot extra, there are still ways that we can, I mean, it may cost us a little money or it might not to go actually have fun and get out and experience life. And it doesn't have to just be, I'm sitting in the middle of my living room in the dark to cut off, like to save money on my power bill, eating ramen noodles all the time. Like the life doesn't have, it like, doesn't have to be that way. Yeah. A budget and like, even though you're paying off debt and you're saving money, you know, you're putting some money in your savings account, you're, doing, you're going after your financial goals. A budget is meant to, it's meant to, it's meant to give you freedom because you're telling your money what to do and telling it where to go. So make sure that you include some money in your budget to live a little, but you can do this in ways that aren't costing you an arm and a leg. So one of the first things, and this is my, this is my favorite, is take advantage of your local library. My local library offers a yoga class once a week. Boom. I can still go to an actual yoga class and get out rather than just only doing it in my living room. Or I, anytime I wanted to read a new book, I could request it at my library and they would buy it and then I could read it. Um, and it didn't cost me anything. I just borrowed it and took it back. Um, if you have kids, they have all kinds of free activities that are going on at the library. And a lot of times they have a lot of movie, movies that you could rent. Not only that, you can also listen to audiobooks if you want to, or even ebooks if you don't want to actually go physically to the library, but you have a book that you want to read, but you don't want to pay the $20 that it would cost to get that book. Use your library, like really use your library. A lot of people, and like even in um, like some major cities, the library I've I've heard of some places in some major cities they have Netflix subscriptions or various other things that you can use. That is your tax dollars. It is a public library. You're you've already paid for it, so use it to your advantage. The library is the bomb. Like, I don't understand why people think that it's only for, like, nerdy folks. Like, the library is awesome. I love it. And I, like, use it. See what your library offers and take full advantage of it is what I'm saying. Number two, just rent a red box. It's, like, a, a less than $2 for one night. Um, you can, if you have a Dollar General that's local, go get some candy and some popcorn and have a movie night at home. Um, that's one of my favorite things to do um, with my husband is we just go to the red box, get ourselves a movie and um, pop some popcorn. He uh, does this thing sometimes where he'll put powdered sugar on it and it's awesome. And we just have a movie night in. Um, popcorn is the Frenchie's favorite snack. So everybody is happy. Um, so, do that. You can rent movies and have movie nights at home and it not cost it not cost you. It will cost you significantly less than if you were to buy one ticket to the movie theater. You can do a movie night at home for less than ten dollars. So do that. That like there's nothing like turn off all the lights in the living room if that's what you want to do and then enjoy enjoy the movie and like make it have a movie theater feel without actually having to go and most definitely without having to pay the astronomical office box price tag and then number three see what the free community events you have that are going on in your local community these are things that um local churches are sometimes putting on or even sometimes like our um my 
city where I live, a lot of times they put on, they have a block party. They have um, a lot of things that are, I live um, near a local, a lake. So there are things that um, the Civic Center are putting on. Like a lot of times our local community um, does a lot of fit things that are free um, that you can go take advantage of. So look and see what local events are going on. I mean, even if you're not religious, if there is something that is going on at a local church or something like that, you can still go um, and take a, take advantage of it. Um, and just see what's happening in your community. A lot of times they'll be low cost or free. Um, every year my my uh, local city puts on a block party and all a lot of local vendors come and we set a budget. We take some cash and we walk around and permanent roommate tastes something from every single food truck. And it's uh, and there's music playing and it's a really nice afternoon or evening out. So check out your free community. Um, it, it's like bleh, your free community. It's not necessarily free to live where you live, but y'all get what I'm saying. So those are three frugal ways that you can still live life um, and it not costs you an arm and a leg and you don't feel so deprived while you're going through your debt payoff journey. Um, so let me know in the comments below, what are some frugal things that you do to still feel like a person <laughs> and continue to pay off debt or save money? Let me know because odds are you've thought of something that I haven't and I'm definitely going to want to try it. So, all right, you guys, in the next video, I'm actually going to share some mistakes that I made that caused my debt because I mentioned in a previous video, um, I've gotten myself debt free before. This is the second or th this is the second time that I have um, been in debt and have entered into a debt debt free journey. So I'm going to share um, some mistakes that I made that caused it to happen again. So make sure you tune in for that one and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.